Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome to CodePipe. In this section, we will see how we will design UI UX that is user interface and user experience for our e-commerce website. Let me tell you that this section is just a part of bigger course that will be available in some time. Let me give a small brief of what we are trying to do. We are trying to make an e-commerce website that we will make from scratch and we will try to host it online. So the first step in that is UI UX design and we will see how to do that in this video. Let's see some steps that will be used in our UI design. First of all, we will meet with the client and get the requirements that will be very essential in our design process. Then we will prepare a brief using the requirements from the client and this brief will contain all the deliveries that we will be giving to the client including the project timeline. Next we will prepare a persona. A persona is basically a fictional character that is an ideal user for the client's website. Next we will prepare the low fidelity design or we can call it wireframe of the website. Once the wireframe is complete we will try to set our mood board using which we will take inspiration for colors, text and font. A side note for this is sometimes there can be client guidelines of which text to use, which font to use, which color to use. So let's keep that in mind also. Next we will prepare the high fidelity design that will consist all the colors and fonts that we have selected. After that we will prototype it. Prototyping is nothing but user experience or we can say if user is clicking on a button on which page it should be redirected what should be the animation from one page to another etc. We will prepare a mobile design, how our website will look into a mobile and at the end we will export the assets that we will be preparing throughout the UI design and these assets will be used for development of the website or the backend development. Now let's quickly get into the first point that is meeting with the client and getting the requirements. Let's say you are meeting with the client and you are doing it for the first time and you have no idea what to say and what to ask. So let me help you in defining some very basic questions that you can ask to a client. First one will be your budget. How I perceive this is if your client does not have the certain budget that you will be using your resources to provide the project then it will be no use to continue further. Let's say my hourly price is $400 and client is asking to complete a task in $10 per hour which is not at all feasible for me. So I don't see a point of continuing the talk but what I can do here is I can refer the client to a better prospect who can do the project in a lesser budget. Once the budget talk is done we will get to know the target audience whom they are targeting school kids or professionals whatever. After this we will ask them what they want to achieve. Maybe the client wants to get more subscribers, more signups. Maybe the client wants to just present the information to a larger audience. So based on that, it will also affect our design process. So it's good to ask this question. Next, we will ask about the features that they want to have in the website. And obviously this will be used by the designers, also the developers to develop the website. Then we will ask them what will be the navigation that will be done by the ideal user. So how they want a user to interact with their website and accordingly we can set our website in such a way that it will be easy for the user to navigate the site. After this we will ask them any domain related information that is highly important and we should know about it. In our case we are designing e-commerce website so we will ask them what is the product journey or how the user will book a product or anything that you think it will help you in the design process. After this, we will ask the client any limitations or specifications that they have. Like I told you, maybe fonts and colors or they have some limitations like the size of web page, screen size, anything. Once we are done with this question, we will get a good idea about what the client wants. So we will write down all the requirements and then we will try to make a brief about the project. So let's quickly see the brief. Here are the requirements that we collected from the client. In our case, we did not have any client. So I asked a friend of mine to behave as an imaginary client and we discussed this. So these are just rough requirements which will be used to make the brief. Some of these requirements are very common for e-commerce site. 
and some of them are very specific like don't make the user sign up until he checks out or personalized home page for users so based on the client and the interaction you have with the client we will have our requirements ready once we have the requirements we will make the brief let me quickly show you how the brief will look like first of all there will be a title or the project name so we are calling it area 51 our site will be called area 51 hence giving it the name area 51 e-commerce project first of all we will include the project name or the website that we will be making so here we are making area51.com then we will have the project description a small brief about the project or what we are going to do as i have already told you we did not have any client so we are making as a part of our own website so the description will say something like it is a subdomain of codepipe and we are trying to make a online store to sell our fashion products we can add some specific things like the website will be used to sell men's and women's fashion items to a single state or whatever the client says or wants us to do and based on the question about the target audience from the client we will work out who is the ideal user for the website we decided that we want a very simple site where user will come and he will have minimal efforts to check out a product and we don't want all the extra information that we have on the normal e-commerce site so we are trying to do that then we have feature list feature list will consider what specifications or what specific things we are going to deliver in the project some are very basic things like adding the product to cart checking out so we have excluded them as they are very basic and we try to include some very specific things here so offers and deals sorting blogs and news the product should be sorted and filtered share the products on social sites we should be able to review the product user should have a accounts page with order details the site should have store locator the site should also has a seller dashboard to see all the revenue the seller should be able to add products and offers and the seller should be able to manage the orders and inventory using this dashboard so these are all the features that will be included in the website apart from some common features next up we have competitors and inspirations in this section we will include from where we have taken the inspiration for the website design and who the competitors are so we are making it in-house so we are taking inspiration from all that we have done we have taken some inspiration from amazon and mintra is kind of inspiration and also a competitor after this comes the very important part of our brief the deliverables this is very important why because this part will tell the client what we will deliver to you and what we will not deliver to you so that the expectations from the client and from our side are set first of all we will deliver the wireframe for approval once it is approved for the client we will go for the high fidelity design once this is done we will go for user testing under user testing we can include what type of testing we will be doing so we will be doing both moderated and unmoderated testing meaning we will be there with the user to test the design some testing will be done without the presence of our team after this we will provide the report of the user testing then we will provide the assets from the design that will be used by the developers last point will say we are not including so we are not including the animations and other advanced css for the website as per the requirements and the talk we had with the client let me take out a second to inform you that this brief is very specific to ui design so whenever we are doing just the ui design part this type of brief will be very beneficial where we are not including the animations and advanced css but in our case we are doing the ui project and after that we will be the developer for the project so things can be here and there okay moving on as per the budget discussion with the client we will include what is the budget decided and if client is trying to add something else that is not a part of deliverable we will let them know okay we will do the work for you but it will cost so and so for any extra work that's why the deliverables are very important and you should always include this in your brief and also the cost then we will let the clients know that we will need so and so percentage of the payment in advance to start the project at the last we will provide the timeline to the client 
let's say on 1st Feb 2021 we will start the research and by 7th Feb we will be able to complete the wireframe and submit it for review as client can be busy and he will take a day or two to approve the wireframe so we will take the feedback for the wireframe by 10th of Feb then we will start working on the high fidelity and we can complete it by 20th of Feb then we can take the high fidelity feedback from clients by 24th of Feb then we can start the user testing by 27th of Feb and finally by 5th of March we will be able to provide the user testing report and the components that are exported to the client and by this the project timeline is completed and the brief is completed now we have met with the client to talk about the budget we got the requirements using the requirements and the target audience we have made the brief now next thing is we have to create a persona our persona will look something like this but before discussing the persona let me tell you some important points to keep in mind while framing the persona first point we have to keep in mind is Persona is a fictional character that describes the ideal target audience. According to the client and your research, a persona will be framed which will describe a person that will be using the website on a regular basis. A persona should include name, gender, location, marital status and profession of the character or the audience. Because I think each of this variable can be a huge factor while we are designing the UI. A single person will behave differently than a married person and of course profession is very important. If a person is very free then he will have more time to interact with the things and if he is a professional he may have less time or he will not see some of the things. So these things can affect our design. But if you think you should not include any of this please feel free to not include and if you think you should include some more things you can include. After this we can also include how a person's usual day looks like and sometimes the hobbies of a person can also affect the design of UI. Let's say a person likes to shop, their main hobby is shopping. So a fashion e-com website will be great for them and while a sports website will be very less interesting for them. So these things also matter. After this we must always try to explain what are the experiences of the user with the previous websites or previous experiences that are bad, what does the customer needs, what is the behavior of the customer and what does he want to achieve. After this we can also include a point how a person or the persona will describe themselves. A persona can say I am a mother of two and I don't have much time from kids or a persona can say I am a footballer and I love to play sports, I love to stay outside. So these things may or may not involve in the design. The client should approve that this persona is the perfect target audience for their website. Let me take a second to tell you how to research for the persona. First can be you can ask directly to the client what is their target audience if they are not sure. Second can be look at the similar websites and see what type of people are on the website. Third can be using the Google analytics of their websites of the clients websites that will give us the gender and demographics of the people. Now moving forward let's see the persona we framed for our e-commerce website. This is our persona. We are calling her Amy. She is an IT professional and the age is 24. According to the brief we got to know that we are making the website for professional workers. Using some internet research we found that most of the people in my location are IT professionals and the average age is somewhere about 24 25 so we have taken the age of 24 so our persona amy is a single working woman who lives in bangalore india amy is kind of busy with the job and she hardly gets time for shopping but she likes shopping and she likes to try different kinds of styles let's see amy's goals so amy just wants to purchase some clothes that are of good quality and she can purchase it without losing a lot of time let's see what are some of the frustrations or bad experiences of Amy. Amy thinks she does not have any time to go out and shop. She is not finding out any time in her busy schedule and it is very hard to navigate through e-commerce websites that are available. Now let's see how Amy will describe herself. She says that I am always busy with my office work and I barely have time to get out of the house for shopping as it wastes a lot of time. 
so she has tried online shopping also and that are very complex it is very challenging to understand how to proceed with things and she just wants a place where she can go find good quality clothes and purchase easily so this is about our persona how we frame this persona is we ourselves are into the IT field so it was easy for us to interview some of our friends to get good understanding of the shopping process but if you are doing it for the client I would recommend you to go out or if you have friends in that sector you can interview them you can do some internet research etc now after reading the persona or framing the persona what are the takeaways from it I got to understand that the ideal user of the website will be a very busy person or he and she would like to make it a fast process for checkout so this is how we can meet with the clients get the requirements make a brief that will explain the deliverables that we will deliver once the project is completed and what we will not deliver it is very important to keep both the points also the cost of the project and the extra price that will be used if any extra additional work is done lastly we use the target audience and some research to frame our persona used on which we will be able to design our UI with this I conclude this video and in the next video we will see how to design a wireframe of the website we will get some introduction to Adobe XD and we will start the wireframe so if you like the video don't forget to give us a thumbs up let us know anything in the comment section share it with your friends subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell and do follow us on the social media handles that are provided in the description if you want to be a part of the decision making about the videos that we make on the youtube channel and support us financially you can always support us on patreon we will meet very soon with a new video until then this is somewhere taking your leave adios